village near Edo, there lived one man called Rokube. He used to be a gangster. He's not a gangster now. Uh, he works really hard and he owns a cognac store. Because he works really hard, everybody respects him. And many young people like him too. Many young people come to his home to rely on him. He lets them stay as long as they want and helps them find jobs. So he's such a nice man. Now in his house is a man who just escaped from Edo. Hey, how are you doing these days? Well, not so bad actually. Well, I'm relaxing a lot. Well, it's okay to relax. But it's not so good to do nothing and just waste your time. Don't you want to start anything? Don't you want to start working? Work? Well, I'm not so diligent as you are, Rokube-san, but uh, sure, I'd like to work if there's a job. But uh, I don't know what I want to do. Well, in that case, I have a great idea. At the foot of the mountain in this village is an old temple that has been empty for many years. Why don't you be a priest there? Priest? You gotta be kidding. I don't know anything about Buddhism. I can't even chant a sutra. <laughs> What's the big deal about chanting a sutra? Villagers here don't know anything about Buddhism either. Uh, they just want someone who conducts ceremonies such as funerals. Hey, be a priest. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I can't. I simply can't. I told you, I can't chant a sutra. Chanting a sutra is not so important. Hey, can you say all the alphabet letters? Alphabet letters? A, B, C? Sure, I can say all of them. I've never learned to read or write, but saying them is a piece of cake. Okay, say them. With a kind of melody, then it sounds like a sutra. Really? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Well, do I have to show you everything? Do like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then you hit the bell here. Boom. songs, Minyo, or you can even sing Old MacDonald's Farm. <laughs> B-I-N-G-O, anything is fine. Sing with a kind of Buddhist melody, then it sounds like a sutra. Really, that simple. Okay, I'll accept the job. Then he became the priest. Now, this man was a gambler two weeks ago. Such a man never gets up early to practice chanting sutra or study Buddhism. Being lazy, he's always trying to drink sake. Hey, Gonsuke. Gonsuke! The temple keeper, Gonsuke! Don't shout! What do you want? I've been a priest here already for two weeks! I haven't got a single job! No job! Oh, that's quite easy to uh, explain. Nobody has died. <laughs> Nobody has died, okay? I, I have to tell you something very important. If there's no work, both you and I will starve to death! And there are any sick people in this village? Sick people? Well, there are some sick people. What about them? Visit them. Visit them. What am I going to do when I visit them? Just offer them discounts for earlier funerals. <laughs> I just don't want to die slowly in this old, dirty, small house. Hey, don't you have some sake? Come on, be quiet. Villagers may be around hearing our conversation. You are the Buddhism priest. You're not supposed to drink alcohol. You're not even supposed to eat any living things such as meat or fish, okay? If you have to say the word sake, you have to use another word. Rice medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you have told me some words which I'm supposed to know. I forgot them. Tell me again. What other words are there? Well, there are many. For example, fusegane, flat chime. It's for abalone, awabi. And genkotsu, fist, that's for turban shell, sazae. Ah, flat chime for abalone, and the fist for turban shell. Anything else? Red tofu for tuna sashimi, <laughs> and a dancer for an eel. Ah, oh, red tofu for tuna sashimi, and dancer for an eel. Good, good, good. Tonight, I want to take a lot of rice medicine, and I need some dancers too. Go, 
go shopping, get them. No money? Well, we can sell some decorations in the main hall. Sell them and get some money. Go shopping now. What a terrible priest he is. Uh, so Gonsuke went shopping and got some sake and he started the small bird. Hey, Gonsuke, have some more. Oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I can't drink any more than this. Is anybody who? Is anybody who? Hey, Gonsuke, there's someone at the door. Please answer the door. Ah, my master. This must be your first inquiry, the first inquiry for the funeral. This is going to be your first chance to make money. We can get some more money and get some more rice medicine. Good. I'll answer the door. <laughs> Good evening. How may I help? Huh? You are another priest, aren't you? Priests are not supposed to come to the temple. We, we, have, we already have a priest. Let me introduce myself. I'm a traveling ascetic monk from A.H. Temple Echiden. When I was just about to pass by the gate of this temple, I realized a sign that says, no women, no alcohol allowed. I realized this was a temple of the Zen sect, and I decided to challenge the head priest of this temple for Zen debate. <laughs> Why are you asking for Zen debate? Oh, it's really serious. Please wait, wait here. I'll go and ask what I can do for you. Hey, my master, my master, it's an emergency. What, 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 what is happening? Hey, is a monk. Monk is here asking for Zen debate. Zen debate? What is that? Oh no, you don't know really. This is kind of common practice in this sect. Uh, some monks under hard training come to the temple and they ask you very difficult questions about uh, Buddhism. You are supposed to answer them. If you can't answer, you lose the debate. If you lose the debate, you will be kicked out of the temple. What? Kicked out of the temple? I've never heard of such a ridiculous custom. Do you understand? I have just gotten the job here. <laughs> I haven't even started to work. I don't want to be kicked out. Of, just, just refuse it. Refuse it. Turn him down. <coughs> you turned him down, didn't you? What? You said you would go and ask what you could do for him. Oh my goodness, why did you do that? I want to ask you, how many people are there in this, in this temple? Two people, you and myself. You are the temple keeper, and I am an A, B, C priest. Of course I can't have the debate. Okay, I'll refuse it myself. Move, come on. What a useless temple keeper he is. Hey, are you the man asking for something weird? Let me introduce myself. Again, <laughs> I'm a traveling ascetic monk from A.H. Temple Echiden. Uh, my name is Shami Takusen. When I was just about to pass by the gate of this temple, I realized a sign that says, No women, no alcohol allowed. I realized this was a temple of the Zen sect, and I've decided to challenge the head priest of this temple for Zen debate. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> just calm down. Relax. Smile. <laughs> Smile. Smile and the positive thinking will lead you to happiness. What? What? Ah, uh, you are asking for the head priest? Ah, uh, head priest, huh? The head priest of this temple is not home. <laughs> not home. He is traveling. When will he be back? Well, he's a kind of fickle, capricious type of man. Once he goes out, he does not come back for about two or three weeks. Judging from the way he acted when he left this time, probably he won't be back another two or three months. Two or three months is nothing. I will wait even if it takes years. I will wait even if it takes decades, as long as my life continues. I'll come back tomorrow again. Excuse me now. Oh. Wow, such a man has come. Uh, I don't know what I'm, do what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? He decided to go to Rokubei-san, the owner of the cognac store. Oh, really? Such a man has come. Well, such pedantic monks are kind of common in this sect. Okay, leave it to me. Let me handle the situation. Yeah, but can you do the debate? Of course I can't. Okay, when he comes, I'll pretend that I can't speak. I will pretend that I can't hear. Ah, you can't speak, you can't hear, you don't have to answer. Good, 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 good. that's a great idea. Then Rokubei-san dressed up like a priest, and the next morning he was waiting in the main hall. Then the monk came. Oh, you are the monk who came yesterday. You are so lucky, because as soon as you left yesterday, our head priest came back. 
he said he hadn't had the debate for such a long time. He wants to have the debate, and he's waiting in the main hall. Really, I'm so lucky. Please show me in. He was shown in. Now the setting is perfect. In this old building of Buddhist temple, an exciting debate is just about to begin in the main hall. Small and old, but an imposing image of Buddha stands in the altar. All the ceiling and walls are decorated, uh, decorated with gorgeous paintings of scenes of heaven. And in the center of the hall are a young, serious monk under hard training and a great, admired head priest of this Temple? No, he is just the owner of a cognac store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for accepting my request for Zen debate. I'm a traveling ascetic monk from AH Temple Eshten. My name is Shami Tabzen. Let me ask you the first question. In the scene of pine branches blowing in the wind, uh, described in the Hokke Sutra, which is right, which is wrong? Does the wind make the branches move, or do the moving branches create the wind? No answer? <laughs> no answer. Let me ask you the second question. This is the question repeatedly asked by Zen monks. Is the world under the rule of existence or non-existence? I request your answer. What in the world is this guy talking about? I don't understand anything. I will keep quiet. <laughs> no answer again. Let me ask you the third question. In the sea of Buddhism, there is a fish with no head, with no tail. It doesn't even have bones inside. What do you make out of this? What do you make out of this? I demand your answer. I demand your answer! Somo-san! Seppa! <laughs> no matter what he says, he doesn't say anything. Because this young monk had some knowledge about Buddhism, he thought about something else. This must be one of the hardest of trainings known as the training of silence. <laughs> then I must ask him accordingly, using my gesture. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a great priest. Forgive me, forgive me for inviting you to such a childish debate. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. What were you doing? You, it seemed you were dancing or something. What was going on? The level of knowledge and wisdom of your head priest is so high I can never reach it. Yeah, but how? First, I asked him some questions, but he wouldn't answer. I realized that was one of the hardest of trainings known as the training of silence. So I asked him using my gestures. First, I asked him his state of mind. He said it is as large and deep as the ocean. <laughs> then I asked him how ten Buddhist worlds can be maintained in order. He said five Buddhist commandments would apply. I asked where the essence of teaching of three main Buddhist is. He said it is as close as in his hand. I can, I can never reach him. <laughs> I will have harder training and come back. Excuse me now, excuse me now. Oh, you lost, you lost the debate, loser, go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 good, good, good. Ah, oh, so Rukubei-san did a great job. But the level of knowledge and wisdom of a cognac store owner is so high, it's hard to believe. Rokubei-san, you did a great job. Where, where in the world is that guy now? Well, he left. He said he lost the debate. Well, he's not the monk or anything. What? Eh, he's temple ages and no, 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 no. He's one of the guys living around here. He knew I was the owner of a cognac store. Really? Yeah. First he asked me strange questions. I had decided to remain quiet, so I didn't say anything. Then, oh, he, he gazed at my face and realized I was the owner of a cognac store. Then he started to insult my business. He said, the cognac that I sell must be as small as this size. <laughs> so I said, no, it is as big as this size. <laughs> then he asked me how much 10 of these cognacs cost. So I said, 500 more. <laughs> Do you know what he did next? He started to negotiate. He, 
asked me to discount it as low as 300 more. So I said, go away. 